Lesson 8 skills practice is all about practicing the art of making selections. Making a selection in Photoshop is probably one of the greatest skills to have. It's not an easy skill at first, but with a lot of practice comes perfection. These videos here in Lesson 8 skills practice, I'll demonstrate for you what you need to do to participate and complete all parts of the skills practices. So I'll start here with a more simple selection task of select and fill. So we have some images for you to choose from, um, some images of palm trees. You can click here and download those. I've already downloaded one, and the first thing I'm gonna do here, uh, um, since it's open here in Photoshop, is I'm going to save it as a PSD document, which you should be doing for all of these skills practices and creative assignments. So I'm gonna name this skills practice eight, and this one is select and fill. Um, so whatever your organization is, stick with it. Um, I like to make sure that a last name is included there. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's dropped in my folder that I've created for this class and this skills practice. So I've got my Photoshop document and I'm ready to go. Um, next here, I'm going to actually want to use the magic wand tool. So the magic wand tool is a more automated selection tool that, um, that is pretty quick and easy. And for this selection, I have a really, really plain background, um, the sky, and um, I think the magic wand tool is going to be the best tool for this job. So with this tool selected, I'm actually going to use 75 tolerance. I'll recommend that you set your tolerance to 75. I'll also recommend that you uncheck the contiguous box. So I wanna make a non-contiguous selection, meaning that I want these parts in here that aren't connected to where I'm going to be making my initial selection to be included in the overall selection. So, with that set up, I'm simply going to click here um, in the blue area of the sky, which in this case is just about anywhere, and you'll notice that um, it gave a really great selection, and this is the perfect tool to use for this, this scenario. Um, and you see that the little pieces are selected. I've got the marching ants around everything. Now, I have this image pulled up there are a couple of images that you can choose from for this, but I'm actually, I chose this one so I could take this one a step further just in the case that you wanted to try something like this. I actually wanna include this as part of my selection. So this is not included as part of the palm trees. It's included as something different. So for this additional selection, I'm actually gonna use a more free hand or free form selection tool, the lasso tool. So with this selection um, tool, I'm going to hold down the shift key and you see how I get a plus sign next to my lasso tool? Um, that will add to my already existing selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw around there and it included most of that. I missed a part here, so I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more um, hold down the shift key again, and as long as I'm holding down the shift key, it will just continue to add to that selection. And I've cleaned that up. I've got everything included as part of the selection, so this will not be part of the palm trees. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. And so I've got this really great selection. I'm always going to advise you um, that no matter how easy the selection was or how, and because I think most of the selections that you create are gonna be quite, um, quite challenging, um, no matter the difficulty level, I'm gonna advise that you save your selection because it's just gonna save you time in the long run. So here, I'm gonna save it as a new channel and I'm going to name it Palm Trees and go ahead and hit okay so in this case if oh suddenly somehow I deselected everything um, 
see there's my selection here in the channels. All I need to do is load that selection. Um, and I make sure that that channel is part of it, is, um, is part of the dialog box. And then I have my selection uh, without having to go through all the steps. So with this task, what you're going to be doing is after you create your selection, you're going to be filling that selection in with a different color. So I'm going to go to here to the edit menu and choose fill. And here I'm going to choose a color. So with color, I can actually go through and choose any color I want. I'm actually going to choose a darker orange. I think that might look kind of nice and interesting. Um, so with that color chosen, um, I just simply fill that in. And if I deselect my selection, you can see that it pretty seamlessly um, filled in that whole area that was selected. The next video, I'll show you some more selection skills for the skills practice eight.